Hello guys from YouTube, my name is Chris and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on any laptop um, that is running any other versions. Uh, my right here, the one in front of me, it was running Windows, uh, Windows 7 and um, I just upgraded to Windows 10 which is running good and it's, it has a lot of stuff, okay? So basically, um, this copy that I have right here, it is open, it's not locked. You can do a lot of stuff with it, okay? So first of all, in, uh, in order to install the software, you need to have a USB stick or a DVD, okay? And then burn all the files to it and then boot it to your PC or laptop, okay? So right now, I want to work with a new laptop. Yeah, actually an old laptop this right here Asus it is running I believe it's Windows XP okay but I wanted to upgrade it so yes so um, if you choose to use a USB USB stick you're gonna have to have a a, a program it's called power ice power ISO and if you choose to use a DVD I believe it's easy you just plug, uh, put it into your driver and then burn all the files but let's use the USB so here's my USB stick 8 gigabytes okay because the file it's more than uh, 3 gigabytes okay so so once you have installed this program right here uh, we'll pack it together and then post it into a link okay so once you have this um, this program first of all let me show you how to install the program the power iso okay you um so yes you open where you download it okay so i download it over here it's called the power okay so you choose your system uh, i got my running 64 bit okay I don't know about yours, which could be running 32. Okay, so you install this program, you agree. Okay, and then just wait. All right, just wait for the program to, to be installed. Okay, you just hit next. Okay, you select them all right here. Okay okay but on select this way here um, where it says automatically uh, automatic oh no it's actually right here the updates okay you gotta take this off because he won't let you upgrade or um, update because this is a crack version so you hit close I mm, close this just in case if it open and then you go to um, you you patch it all right so you, you go right here patch it you're gonna have open you're gonna have to open this uh okay so you open it all right run as administrator okay yes all right just hit patch okay now it's done okay uh, it's done now. Exit. Exit. All right. And then close. Go to your uh, screen. All right. So now here's the program. Okay. Click on it. Okay. Wait. All right. So you're into the program. Okay. So uh, what you need to go is go under option. I mean on the tools and you see a lot of option right here uh, choose the one that says create bootable USB okay you choose to create where is it oh right here so once you choose this right here okay you just click okay it will take you to a, a second screen okay so once you get this screen right here Okay, so input the files you want to uh, put into your USB. So my it's over here, so I put it in. And once you get this right here, 
you press uh, a star okay but I'm not gonna press star because I already create one so you're you gonna have to press star okay once you once it once it's done it will tell you when it's done okay so you close it and then oh. so once you're done with your USB alright get it out stick it into the other laptop you want worked in okay so I'm gonna put this into a port right here uh, I mean the port alright so you're in and then turn on your computer I turn my computer on and then press escape my is escape other laptops you can press F1 or F12 F9 I don't know probably you have to search it okay so right here 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 I am to the boot screen I see my USB you hit it okay I'm gonna hit it you wait wait until until it's done okay so just a second you're gonna have to wait it'll take some minutes by five minutes or three minutes all right just a second all right. okay so now it's loading you still gotta wait a little bit a little bit more all right okay so now so we so now we are into the screen okay so you choose your language okay there's a lot of language option all right this is uh multiple languages but just i don't know about your language you, i just keep it as it is okay so you hit next okay and install now or you can repair your computer if you have any problem but just install install it okay you just gonna wait wait for a minute wait just a second okay all right so now you're gonna need a key okay so I got a key generated okay I already generate a key but it doesn't mean that it's gonna activate the whole program no you're gonna do something else after you finish okay so this key that I'm gonna punch in it's just gonna be uh, temporarily all right so uh, stop punching in oh hold on okay Okay, so I hope I punched in the number right. Okay, so let's see. It. Okay, so you, once you punch in the number, you uh, you gotta have to hit next. Don't don't just skip this pr uh, this step because otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, so now yes, it, it works. So you press you uh, press you agree and then hit next. Right. So in this screen right here, um, there's one option upgrade okay so um this um this file right here uh you gotta it is a new fresh um new fresh person so uh i wanna do like i wanna fresh my uh, my laptop so i'm gonna do custom okay so now uh I'm gonna delete everything because I want to fresh everything so uh, yeah I think I already format okay let's just hit format okay format 
this format and and I'm I'm gonna install it over here all right so oh yeah I want to uh, format this disk too oh yeah I think it's already formatted okay so you just hit next next and then wait for the all right just wait alright guys back to the project okay so um, you're just gonna wait for I me mean, gotta be patient the computer will restart as many times alright so just follow the steps so now uh, I'm into the main screen now it's asking for uh, uh, Wi-Fi yes I'm I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi alright let's see I then go next over here. Okay. All right. So in this step right here, it says that um, use express setting. Uh, no, I don't want to use that one. I want to use this right here. Customer size settings. The reason I choose this because I can disable some of this. Uh, like this over here it says location you know I don't want Microsoft to track me up like last time my camera turned on and I start recording okay so off and next okay what else automatically connect to network share contacts nope Just, that's it next okay so um uh, right here it will take uh, it will take some minutes okay so let's just wait for this okay so once you get to this screen right here um you're gonna choose if you own this uh, computer this laptop or it's an organization so I own it I'm gonna choose this right here I own it okay and then hit next Okay, now it's loading. Alright, so uh, uh, this step right here, if you have a Microsoft account, you can still use it. Like my, I have, hold on. Yeah, put your password. And then once you input your password, and if you don't have a, a Microsoft account, you can create one right here. I believe it's right here. It's a cre uh, create one. Okay, or oh, you can skip this this uh, step. So sign in. Oh, by the way, guys, if you if you guys don't have Wi-Fi or no internet connection, you can still do it without internet. Okay, so now uh, the last step is set up set up a password. I mean a, a pin. Okay, so that's a new um, new stuff on Windows 10. So let's create a a pin. Okay, you create your pin. Thing, it's only four digit numbers. Right. Yeah, hit OK. Uh, just wait. Um, okay, so this step right here, I just want to say next. Okay, next. Okay. Just hit next. Now we're gonna wait for a minute. 
Okay guys, so here we are. Um, now Windows 10, it, it is installed. But but now you're gonna activate it. Okay, so let's activate it to make it legit. All right. Okay, so you go into um, whatever you download to activate it. Okay, so on my, it is over here. Okay, hold on. It's over here in this disk. Um, okay, so you hit it. You install this. Install it. Upon uh, as administrator. Okay. Say yes. Yes. Okay, so now it is installed, and now you can run the program. Um, I forgot what the program called, but let's just type it in right here, see if it pops out. Yes, it's right here. Okay, so let's run this program. Okay, so yes. And then once you get this screen, you hit this little red one. Program complete. Now it's activated. To make sure if it's activated, gonna uh, right, right click, right click, and then go into system. So yeah, you can see it, it's Windows Pro, and go all the way to the bottom. And it says when it is activated. Alright. Okay, so now we have Windows 10 uh, installed in a laptop was running 7, Windows 7. But the last step you need to do is uh, update. Okay, so you go up. Update. Okay search for updates and then check for updates so yeah you gotta do this in order to run windows 10 really good because if you don't do updates and i don't know if it's gonna be slow or something like that but yes you need to do this step yeah as you see there's a lot of updates so now it's updating uh, downloading all right so that's it enjoy